Try not to pass out, because if you do, there's basically a 100% chance of you dying. I'll see you later. You're still alive. <laughs> you survived somehow. I am. Wow. Well, you survived somehow. So, uh, you passed stage one. I guess I can uh, continue training you. What's next?
you know what, Jaden? I'm sick of this, dude. If you weren't so irresponsible, we wouldn't be having to move again. You got nothing to say, huh? Not really, no. It's because it's true. And you know it. No, we have a house. Yeah, man, it's not like you did anything for it. Okay, so... See, it's that attitude of yours is the exact reason why you shouldn't be my guardian. Like, how am I supposed to know you're not going to leave for another five years, man? Yeah, well... Where even were you, man? Like, no cruise lasts for five years that I know of. Well, obviously it wasn't one cruise. It was several of them. I mean, you don't even have the money for 60-plus cruises. Well, obviously Shelby paid for it. Man, you're such a horrible liar. Shelby was in the military. It's not like she could have paid for it or have been there. You know what, Jaden? Bro, can you believe this? Freaking Chicago gets this whole superhero, and we get this crazy guy obsessed with orange. Like, I want a refund. You want a refund? I do indeed. I mean, at least he helps people. And according to this exact channel, Right now, what they're talking about is how much crime has gone down since he started being a vigilante. I don't know, dude. I call it a lucky break. A lucky break? He's obviously helping people. Just because you think he's crazy doesn't mean he's not helping people. You seem oddly obsessed with this kid. You're the one who you interrupted our argument to start talking about it. Because I'm done talking to you about... This argument's going nowhere, dude. And don't go starting it again, because I don't want to deal with it. Your bed's upstairs, remember? You know what, Jaden? What are you doing, bro? That Equations. Looks like a really big equation. It is. Any reason you're doing a really big equation on the mirror at 2 in the morning? Because uh, I couldn't sleep. Okay, you couldn't have done this on paper or something? Uh, no. Okay, well, I need to shower in here and stuff, so... Well, you can be patient. This looks like wormholes and time travel and crap. It is. So at 2 in the morning, you are trying to figure out time travel. Uh, yeah. Why? Because I had a dream that... You had a dream? Yeah, like a... a time travel dream. I could see into the future. You had a dream that you could see into the future? Well, I can. I just had a dream that proved it. So what is it you think you've seen in the future? It's like really hard to describe, but like it was a fight. I don't know between who, but Fuego was there, Ball Boy, some new guy called 440. I can't, I don't know, 440. But you remember Shelby? She was there. Even though she's dead? She's not. plane crash? Like nobody found the body, so it's not proven, but she was there. And you remember, um, my robot called Abot. He was there, and he <laughs> got destroyed. Like he got even destroyed, despite all the weapons he had. I don't know where he got those from, but he had. You give that robot that's in our garage weapons? I didn't do it. He just had them. Maybe I do, but it's time travel for a reason. So, Ball Boy, Fuego, 
some new guy who we don't know of, and Shelby, and this artificial intelligent robot yeah. with a lot of weapons lose in a fight? Yeah. You know what's funny? Ball Boy, that guy you're so fond of, he ran away like the coward he is. And 440, like right alongside him. I don't know if they're working together or what, but I'm going to find out. You're going to find out? Yes. How are you going to do that? With time travel. I think even if you could find out who Ball Boy is, you should probably not. Well, a bit too late for that one, don't you think? No. If this guy is as crazy as you think he is, you should probably stay away from him. If you say so. But you're not the boss of me. Well, I am for a few months here. Well, I'm patient. Are you? Wow. Okay. You are being a jerk, and I need to shower. I'll just use the shower downstairs. Have fun with that. I will. Ted, we have a huge problem. Quinn knows that he can see it in the future. I mean, I would hope he figured it out after, you know, seeing visions and then them happening type thing, but, you know, some people are just a little slower than others. I know, but still, I wanted to keep him in the dark about this as long as possible. I mean, does he know why yet? Have you told him, or are you just gonna, like, hold out on him? No, I didn't tell him why. I kind of just acted like he was crazy. So, yeah. I handled that very well. Hey, I need you to do something. Imagine that you need me to do something. I need you to hack some files um, <coughs> from that military base that Shelby recently started working for. Like, probably everything that you can. Whoever this 440 guy is, he probably came from there. That's the same place Fuego got his superpowers from. Let's just hope this 440 person is somewhat trustworthy. Sounds a little paranoid, bro. It's a good paranoid, though. I just want a good contingency plan for this person. Do you have a contingency plan for Fuego? Yes. Yes, I do. You carry it with you? Is that your contingency pocket? You got your contingency plan in your contingency pocket? Over here like, look at me, I'm Jaden, AKA Ball Boy. I got my contingency plan in my contingency pocket. I have an idea. All right, just ignore my question, Captain Contingency Pocket. I'll just go do my job that I'm doing for free and hack every single file in the database, which is thousands upon thousands of them, and find the obscure information you're looking for. Fine, yeah. I have a contingency plan for Fuego. I also have one for Shelby, the person who trained me. I have one for that creepy AI robot my brother Quinn is working on. You got a contingency plan for me, Jaden? Whatever, I have to go. I have a date with Rain. I am about to get dressed real quick and wear that nice suit I occasionally wear once a year. Oh yeah, by the way, got some new shoes for you. They're dress shoes. You might want to wear them for your fancy date. They look ugly. So I guess they match your face. Now put them on. They look ugly. No, I'm not wearing them. Jaden, put them on. They have trackers in them. They're made for running. They've got a built-in flashlight. I'm just trying to keep you safe. Oh, why didn't you say so?